Today, technology has allowed us access to great things. For instance, back in the day, to be able to draw digitally, expensive software such as Photoshop were crucial to be able to make digital artwork. Today, the playing field is leveled up and we have many options to choose from, a lot of which are free or inexpensive. Flip a Clip and Procreate are great examples in the advancement of digital art technology. In this video, we will explore these two software and compare them to give you an idea on why they are revolutionary in their own way. Create unique characters and their world through ideation and practical exercises that can be applied to various media. This Domestica course is presented by Nathan Jurevicius, an illustrator, filmmaker, toy designer, author, and concept artist. Follow along as he shares his personal approach to creating unique and meaningful characters and how to envision and create the worlds they inhabit. Nathan worked with huge brands and companies from all over the world, such as IKEA, Kid Robot, and Hasbro. Throughout the course, you'll learn how to gather your reference and how to form your thought maps. You'll also learn how to formulate characters and their worlds to help you generate your own engaging universe. And as you venture deeper in this course, you'll learn the steps of what makes a good character and how to imagine the world they inhabit through different techniques and mediums. At the end, after finishing your project, you'll see how you can assess your work and determine what could be improved. Nathan will also explain how you can stay motivated in your personal and professional life. If you're interested in this course, you'll find all the necessary links in the description box below. Let's start by taking a look at these two software in a general light. Flip a Clip is a software developed by Visual Blasters. The software is mainly an application used on iOS and Android. You can animate virtually anywhere, from an Android phone to an iPad. The software is very simplistic and straight to the point, and with which you can animate using your finger. The software is mainly made for animation purposes and doesn't offer much in terms of drawing or digital painting. The software is available for free on the App Store and the Play Store, with purchasable premium features. Procreate is one of those rare software that took the world of digital art by storm. It's a software developed strictly for iPad OS and iOS by Savage Interactive. It's a raster graphics editor in which you can paint and draw as well as make simple animations. First released in 2011, the software still thrives today. Procreate is not free. However, it's not as costly as other 2D software with a price tag of around $10. Flip a Clip has arguably the most simplistic interface out there, with the fact that this software is usually used on a limited screen in mind, such as that of a phone, we understand why the developers had the interface to be that simple and easy to use. The drawing and manipulation tools are on the left. You have your pen tool that once tapped, it will give you a couple of options for drawing brushes, like pen, pencil, brush, and highlighter. That's also where you modify the brush's color and size. Underneath that is the eraser tool with basic options, such as the opacity and hardness. Next up, or down that is, the lasso tool, which is the perfect tool for selecting things and transforming them using rudimentary transformation options, such as flipping vertically and horizontally. The bucket tool is used to fill shapes with the desired color. And finally, you have a text tool. The timeline is at the bottom. You can simply add new frames using the plus button. The software has an onion skinning options for your animation. Other canvas options are on the upper right side. You can undo and redo using the arrows, draw with the help of a ruler, and make basic shapes all by tapping the ruler icon, and copy and paste using the clipboard and paper stack icons. The box with arrows extended is to get the canvas back to the default display. It wouldn't be zoomed in or out, it would just default back to where it was when you first opened the canvas. 
you have your playback button on the right and on the down right side of the screen you can find your layers where you can add layers and use simple layer options such as lock in, delete in, add in, modify in opacity and so on and so forth. Beneath the drawing tools on the left, you find a small music icon that you can tap to get the audio options. Finally, in the middle, you have your canvas. The design of the whole software is incredibly simple and to the point, with big, clear icons. The way that these tools are put together and their design makes for a simple and non-daunting look. The software is in all sleek white, with black simplistic design for the icons and options. With this design, the software is incredibly user-friendly and easy to use. Procreate is a lot like flip -a clip in its simplicity. The software is pretty straightforward. On the upper right side, you have a brush icon from which you can choose your brush. Procreate brushes are plenty and varied. You can even download new ones, make your own, or modify an already existing brush. Next to it is a smudge tool, an eraser, and layers, which can be accessed by tapping on the layers icon. The software has all your regular layer options, like merging, duplicating, clipping, etc. And finally, in the extreme right, a color selector, which is an icon of a circle in whichever color you have selected. When you tap on it, you're presented with a variety of color selection sliders and options. On the left side of this is an arrow icon used to help you move your drawing around your canvas and transform it. The element selected and transformable depends on which layer you are in. Next to that is a twirly looking line icon, which is used for selecting and color filling. The magic wand, when tapped, provides you with a plethora of editing options, like blur, glitch, noise, blah blah blah, and so on. Lastly, the wrench icon is all about the canvas and its options. It's where you can insert a picture, file, or text. That is where you can also crop, resize, export, and even get a short video of your process so far. On the right is where your sliders are. These sliders are used to determine the opacity of your brush or eraser and its size. Just underneath those, you have your redo and undo buttons, which can actually be triggered using two fingers and tapping them on the screen to undo, or three fingers and tapping them on the screen to redo. And that's it for Procreate, multiple options backed within simple icons on the screen. All of these options are in a black space with white icons, kind of like flip a clip, but completely opposite. The software makes for a sleek and professional looking space that is easy to use and good to look at. Just like flip a clip, Procreate is designed in a compact and clean way, where there are plenty of tools integrated in a smart way that is user friendly and easy to use so that Procreate is not daunting for a first-time user. Piggybacking off of our overview of the two software interfaces and tools, it's safe to say that both software have an easy look and feel. They're both very easy to use and get started with. It will for sure take you at least one tutorial to get used to both of them if you have never used a 2D software in your life. However, if you've got 2D software experience under your belt, you'll find your way around them in no time, save for some obscure option or tool here and there. The way that the two software operate is so similar, so much so that the process of learning how to use them seems to be similar as well. Flip a Clip is a free animation software that you can use simply by downloading it to your phone or tablet. If you feel comfortable with it and like it enough, you can purchase additional features that will make using it a lot easier. This software is super easy to use and incredibly user-friendly. However, this is also its con. It's too simple for any real or concrete professional work. It's something you would use for simple animations, not for something sophisticated. Procreate is an extremely sophisticated digital painting and drawing software that is also easy to use. It has animation and 3D painting options and tools. It's not as costly as other sophisticated software and doesn't require a subscription. However, it's only compatible with iOS and iPadOS and has a limited number of layers depending on the device you're using.
Okay, time for us to put these two guys head to head. Which is the best? Once again, circumstance wins here. It all depends on where you are and what you need. Are you someone wanting to try animation for fun and just to test the waters? Procreate is not for you, but Flip a Clip is. You can animate using a free software using just your phone and finger. Purchasing Procreate for the sole purpose of animating can prove to be a faulty strategy. If you don't have the appropriate Apple devices to use it properly, then what good is it? Especially if your focus is animation. Procreate does have an animation option, but it's not specialized in it. On the other hand, let's say you have an Apple device and want to use it to draw and paint. Procreate can be the perfect choice for you. Procreate will allow you to paint, draw, do 3D painting, and animate all in one. You'll have a full experience just by spending 10 bucks. See what we mean now? The best option can be determined by you and you only. And we hope that our overview was enough to help you decide which you should go with. With that being said, we hope you found the video useful, informative, and fun. If you've enjoyed it, feel free to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and click on the bell icon so you would be notified whenever we release any new content. Comment below if you think that we've missed something or if you have any other suggestions. Thank you for watching as always and see you next time.